boy. Alice and her service dog approach the elevator and push the button. When the elevator opens, Paul blocks Alice from getting on. Hey, Paul. Hold on. You and that dog need to take the freight elevator. The freight elevator? I don't know why you always got to cram into this elevator with that cripple mobile and crush people's feet. I have every right to use the elevator just like everybody else in this building has. <laughs> oh, really? That dog is a real problem, too. He's my service dog. Right. Well, it gets hair all over everyone. And some people don't like dogs. You know, Paul, I'm really tired of you giving me a hard time about my wheelchair and my dog. Well, you know what? You're just going to have to take the next elevator. The elevator door closes and Alice is left waiting. Sharon, I was just at your office looking for you. Do you have a minute? Uh, sure, Alice, what's up? I'm just fed up with the way that Paul is treating me. It's... What, what happened? He insists that I use the freight elevator instead of the passenger elevator. He's giving me a hard time about my wheelchair and my service dog. I just can't do this anymore. That's terrible. Let's go to my office and we'll talk. Okay. Sharon meets with Paul. I've got a lot going on around here with just the normal complaints from tenants. Dealing with pets and wheelchairs crowding the elevators just Paul, adds. Alice is entitled to use the elevator just like any other tenant in the building. Is there anyone other than you who's complaining? They're just being nice, because she's a handicapper. And that pet dog, I don't like it. Paul, that dog is not a pet. It's a service animal. Alice needs the dog to help her with her daily life. You cannot restrict her from using the elevators or the common areas because she has a service dog and a wheelchair. So what? She gets special treatment? No. Reasonable accommodations so she can live here like everybody else. And Paul, you need to be more respectful in your language. It is offensive to refer to Alice as a handicapper. The site manager reprimanded Paul and let Alice know about it. But Paul... Paul, could you please move your ladder? Everything is always a problem with you, isn't it? I don't know why you even want to live here. Don't they have special needs housing or something you can live at? Could you move your tools too? <sighs> I'll tell you what, I'll move you. Stop it, what are you doing? Stop it. Paul grabs Alice's wheelchair and shoves it around. The site manager acts immediately in response to Paul's continuing harassment. Sharon, I really can't live in a place where I feel so discriminated against and I feel really unsafe. I understand. I absolutely understand. And I am so sorry that you've gone through this. I want to let you know that I have suspended Paul without pay and that I am requiring him to write a formal apology to you. I would certainly like that. And there's more. In order for him to regain his job, he is going to be taking a mandatory training for all staff members about and surrounding disability awareness. Mm -hmm. And in addition, he'll also be taking a new training we have on the newly updated anti-harassment policies and practices. And you'll let me know when those, are, those trainings are scheduled? Yes, I will. And I will bring you the updates as soon as I get them. And I want to assure you that this will not happen again. I certainly hope not. 